look, I just like the video. Stop reading. It's I didn't even make it. Stop reading too much into it. Okay, I am I'm allowed to like things on the internet. It's a, it's it's an occasional hobby of mine to to read the internet and to find something that I like. It doesn't happen often, but sometimes it does happen. Um, not everything in that I agree with, but uh, I mean, I think that at this point we all have more in common with like a black family than the south the, the south african families you know just saying i feel i feel more i feel it's not very strong but i feel more connection towards the arabs in their struggle than the south africans in their struggle if you catch my drift um that is called the oh god i downloaded that forever ago the I'll look, I'll link the video in the description so you can peruse it at your own time. Uh, let's see. This week sucked. I'm getting that out of the way so that when it's three hours long, um, you know why. It's one of those weeks. Before, um, people are already super chatting, but I just want to, I want to bring this front and center because now that I oh, should I forgot to go to studio mode. Uh, now that I have lit in, lit a fire, which I'll get into in a second, I promise, because uh, I know that is in in demand right now. Um, people have have raised some criticisms of donations alert, which I use because it is Russian, and as we all know, Russian is very scary. Whenever I see this relic alphabet, uh, I I freeze. I my my, my intestines not up. My skin crawls. So if you are afraid of Russians but you want a super chat, I would encourage you to uh, look at privacy.com because it's a way to like make fake gift cards using your credit balance that work with any name and any postcode. And I would also suggest privacytools.io for like a general suite of basically everything you could hope for. Uh, like for instance, I would suggest making uh, either alternate ego like email addresses using one of these uh, providers or using an email forwarding service so that you don't have to have two different email addresses. But then I would also suggest a password manager like Bitwarden or um, whatever they suggest. Not giving me money, that's okay, Punish World. You don't have to give me money. Your, your endless time and adoration is more than enough. Though, uh, in case you're wondering, no, I'm not particularly black pill this week. It's just, just the motive I'm going for. Uh, I watched this video and actually suggested even if you don't play video games it's called the immortal the immoral design of diablo immortal by a guy called josh strife hayes and i've never um watched this guy's channel before but it's a very interesting 45 minute look at the monetization practices of a mobile game for the diablo franchise that came out last month and this video is a month old i missed it but i just saw it so whatever it is actually mind-boggling the amount of deliberate complexity in the mobile game monetization suite. Uh, like the, he goes over how there are twenty-three different currencies which obfuscate the 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 way that they take your money and encourage you to spend money to get the legendary items out of it and how they bypass like Belgian anti loot box systems by using the game element almost as, as just a shim to make the reward mechanism and the uh, payment mechanism just far enough away from each other so that they don't qualify as loot boxes. It's really, really interesting. And it makes me, it makes more, more sad than that video does. Uh, it makes me really sad because when I grew up, I remember um, my my next door neighbor uh, was a kid my age, and he had two parents that were like cool. I guess they played video games. They they were huge into World of Warcraft and uh, Diablo two, and I remember playing Diablo two at his house and thinking how fucking cool that game was. And there's a thing where you pay sixty bucks for a video game, and you own that game forever, and you can play it as much as you want, and there's no problems. And today, like. People have always tried to like say like the current trends of video games being shittier and shittier doesn't matter because the good ones will be out there. But I think like the the zoomers and the 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 alphas I don't know what to call the the zoomier zoomers 
uh, the alphas, they have never even seen a good game <laughs> in their entire life. I think the closest thing that a, a kid would would see as a good game is like Breath of the Wild. You know what I mean? They have no fucking idea of what it's like to own a video game on a disc unless they have a Nintendo Switch and exclusively play Switch games. They have no fucking concept of like a video game as we have it. And um, I, I, I don't know. I guess parents raise their kids by giving them like an iPad or an iPhone. Like at, to, at like a year old, or they have their own iPhone and they end up watching like Bella pregnancy spine surgery videos on youtube that have like four trillion views because they get marketed toward kids and then they download diablo immortal and they pump a hundred dollars a month into uh premium boxes and shit i don't know I re it really is I, I feel bad for people becoming parents like right now because it's like what do you do what do you do with your fucking your your little shits how do you keep them occupied without getting them into the into the YouTube algorithm and being brainwashed by crazy creepy pause shit and having them addicted to your cell phones. It's a luxury to have like a stay at home parent. So what the fuck do most people do when they have a kid? Have you heard of star sector? Uh, yeah, Seth did a video about that. I look, I don't play that many video games and I probably shouldn't. I got too much to do that. I can't be playing video games, but like, I, I remember a lot of games very fondly growing up. It's like a, you know, kids kids play video games, and nowadays they're so exploitative. They're genuinely exploitative, and I think that there's like a huge sector of people who are genuinely depressed, and they just want to be good at something. So they end up picking up one of these games, and they just dump you know twenty thousand dollars into it. Because then once they have all like the way that this game in particular works is that when you party with people and you put in like your legendary crests to up your your loot for that that run everybody in your party gets a small bonus from your from each of your crests so if everybody in your party puts in a crest then everybody gets like a massive bonus to their their loot finds at the end of the the run so if you're someone who's like pouring in hundreds of dollars to get cool items and then on top of that you know because your your cool items make your run times faster but then you're also giving them crests and shit so that they get cool items too. Then that's like buying popularity in this video game. It really, it's it's something that exists exclusively to prey upon people who have some disposable income and basically nothing else going on for them. And it's very sad, uh, but I don't know. I don't want to talk too much about it. I guess I already did. Too late for that. Love me some gotcha. People are comparing this to... Gotcha games, which I, I vaguely know. And then there's the, there's this one game which is inexplicably popular. It's like you're a little anime girl and you just run around and you kill big black like Bigfoots that wear a mask. And that's all you do. And I and from what I understand, nobody plays the actual game. And they, it's just like a thing that every but everybody seems to know about it. Genshin. Yeah, Genshin and back. All you do is you run around as a little girl and you kill Bigfoots. And, but everybody is more about, like, I have to put money into this to unlock more little girls to kill Bigfoots with. And it's like a social game or something. Look, I have, I have no fucking idea about the animes, but uh, apparently that's very exploitative. And then the Diablo Immortal is somehow even worse. Okay. Ah. <sighs> Oh God, that's basically the end of my my filler. After this, I have to talk about flamenco. I'm really trying to put that off. If I can talk about Diablo Immortal for a little bit more, I don't have to talk about flamenco chat. <laughs> isn't that isn't that lovely? Unfortunately, I think I've run out of, uh, of of things to to throw in my way, obstacles to put in my path to avoid talking about flamenco. All right, um, everybody hates flamenco, and. I, I have a take on why, but I, I don't want to like play th through these in their entirety. I will play this clip. It's about two minutes long. It's between Algi RFC and um, Flamenco. So we'll just play this clip, and then I'll talk about it a little bit. Can you play the clip that I DM'd you? What? The Salva one? By the way, yeah. just to give you like a, a little crash course in Algi, I don't know anything about him. But apparently every time Flamenco has a little spacky, he has to go on Augie's stream 
And Audrey like dresses him down and says like, Flamenco, are you going to apologize for being a retard again? And then Flamenco's like, yeah, you know what? Now that I've had time to think about it, I am being retarded and I'm sorry. And this just is like a thing that happens every month or so. Aji uh, presents Flamenco to his audience to apologize for some other retarded shit that he's done recently. And this just keeps happening over and over again. Cor correct me if I'm wrong, but this is my interpretation of events. All right. You guys remember how... On. Let me go live so you can see it. Are you there? Yeah. I goddamn hate... Uh, I hate flamenco and I hate Sonic and it's coming from a place of pure and honest vitriol I genuinely hate him and I hate everybody talking about him and I hate how people are acting like he's cool and that grown men should be watching him on the screen <clears throat> I want him dead I want him to burn in hell <laughs> I want to rip that motherfucker apart, <laughs> and I mean that. I want to kill him. I want to stab him repeatedly. I want to make him feel subscribed. pain. So I, I'm I'm curious. Like th this is like open season now. Anybody can say that they want to kill somebody live on air like that. Do you think this clip is serious, Flamenco? No, but does that mean that like people are able to just do that whenever they want now? Do you know what he's about to do? <laughs> Yeah, he, he stabs himself in the hand like a fucking retard. <laughs> this is what he does. He fucking rips up the Sonic doll. Do you think this is right. like a, like, this violates some, like, grounds of internet ethics? Uh, no, I'm Mike just saying Mike that if it were, like, dollars. anybody else, so and they were saying that they wanted to kill okay, somebody. Listen, listen, listen. Audrey, this is unacceptable. What the fuck is the point of the text-to-speech donation thing on your fucking screen if you're just gonna talk over it anyways? Make that shit manual, bro. Like, this is... the Streamers are like nightmares. They have no, they have no like respect for their audience listening to this shit. Like, why is why is there three different feeds of sound coming in? One from the video, one from the text to speech, and then one from from uh, you and Flamenco talking to each other. Like, two of these have got to go. The video's got to be paused, and you got to make that text to speech shit like either something that happens when you're not talking, or you have to actually press a button to get it to show up. Because what the fuck? And I've watched several clips from this guy now, and it's a recurring thing where he has the text-to-speech on, but then he just doesn't acknowledge it and he walks over it. Like, what the fuck? What is, literally, what is the point of even having the text-to-speech if you're not going to, like, do, acknowledge it at all? Even Ralph, Ralph will be sitting there. He could have an interview with Joe Biden, right? He's got the President of the United States in the Killstream headquarters in the compound in an unknown location in a mountain bunker somewhere. And Joe Biden will be talking, like, uh, about a trade deal or vaccine mandates or some shit and then a $20 super chat will come in and he'll be like uh, Mr. President hold on I need you to hold on there hold that thought I've got a super chat coming in that's very important and then it'll be some guy just saying the n-word and then then corn pop is allowed to talk again uh you got to figure something out cuz when Ralph is doing it better that's unacceptable <laughs> it would probably be handled a little bit different <laughs> No, <laughs> no, it wouldn't. Everybody would laugh, and anybody that really? would get upset at that would be a fucking idiot, right? Like, that's really? what people would say. What do you mean? Dude, are you good? Like, you've lost it. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's just like, what? Okay, I'm, like, confused. Like, so he's just... You're cool with anybody in Why your chat you? saying that they want to kill somebody. <laughs> yes, I don't give a fuck. Okay. Fair I enough. don't care, and you don't care either. You used to not care, no, but no, now no, you no, care no, when it's against you. Now you care when it's against you. No, 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 no. Okay. Um. Here's 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 okay. Recap. This guy Salvo, who I mean, he looks like Andrew Torba with a bit more autism, and he's tearing up a Sonic plushie and saying that he wants to murder Flamenco. Um. I don't know how anyone can take that seriously, but Flamenco did. He finds it very upsetting. Um, I've, as somebody who has had many very seriously autistic people threaten to murder me, you just have to laugh at it. I don't know why Flamenco has decided to take it, like, I guess because he keeps getting dressed down. People are like, no, you can't fuck with, um, oh god, Flamenco has, like, this retard vendetta that I touched on very briefly, where he wants to, like, oh, Xanderthal. He, he, um, 
Xander Thaw accused his mom of abusing him at some point on a live stream. So he got into trouble a while ago, and I did talk about this when it happened. But he he said that he was gonna like send clips of Xander Thaw shit talking his mom to his mom because he had a, a personal, unsubstantiated, unfounded theory that his mom was bankrolling him because Xander thought doesn't make that much money in Super Chats. And when he, he pitched this idea to his chat, his chat got really upset and told him that he was a retard. And then Audrey had to do his dress down and say, like, well, Manko, you're being retarded again. He's like, I know... I know I'm being retarded again. I shouldn't fuck with Xander Thaw's mom, even though I really hate him. And now it's like, why do why do other people get to tear up Sonic plushies and say they want to kill me when I can't even send Xander Thaw Xander Thaw's mom clips of him saying that he doesn't like her? What what is the where's the fairness in this? Where's the equitability in our situations? It's like I don't know. You should just ignore retards in general. Uh, that's my tip. Uh, there's another, there's a component, the second component to this. I'm not going to play any of this. I, I I think I've made fun of this guy before, Nicholas DeOrio. I keep hearing his name. I find him insufferable, and I don't know anything about him. This is just like, I've seen now, his right, face, and, and that's all it takes. And I really, look at this. There's one more thing. He has like this avatar that shows up. Look at this. What the, the fuck same... is this? Why would you... I, I I have a personal thing against YouTubers who like make like a cartoon thing their avatar and then in edited videos it's like they put that picture up and he's like crossing his arms because he's taking it seriously and then he's like there's like four different pictures they keep such it's like okay look I hate this you're trying to number one you're trying to look like Sam Hyde and you have like one of those French liber freed slave liberty caps and the rounded glass. I look, I, I just fucking hate this. And he has another one at the beginning that I also just fucking hate. Uh, this, look at this. What, what are you a king of? What throne are you sitting on? What the fuck is he looks like a, a, uh, like a, the, the owner of like a minor league baseball team and he has commandeered some kind of throne at like a buffalo wild wings and he's just sitting there and he's waiting for his buffalo wild wings order to come and he's just overdressed because he he has to look professional when he does his his minor league baseball coaching or whatever look this is this is just my head cannon i know literally nothing about this guy except that he's fat and he has the word oreo in his name and i'm just sick of him <laughs> <laughs> I've never watched any other of his videos. I got about 45 minutes through this. And I just got, and it's just like, I don't know what point he's trying to make. It's just a bunch of clips of Flamenco making an ass of himself. <laughs> and um, it's titled, Why I Hate Flamenco TV. And there are like four different videos like this about why, like, I wonder if I can pull them up if I'm going to make a fool of myself. Hate Flamenco. The, do I get, um... Okay, here's why I hate Flamenco TV five days ago by the Buffalo Wild Wings band. Flamenco TV confronted me, and he de he decided to use a, a soy jack of, in his thumbnail for some reason. This is also by Nicholas de Oreo. This is called Everyone Hates Flamenco, and it's just video game footage. Um, and I, I'm aware that that's Ralph, but I'm just saying. Why people are done with flamenco TV homeboy hour experiment with guest call in salvo pancakes from a homeboys got receipts. That is just awful. That is the worst channel name I've ever heard in my entire life. And then there's a video about gypsies. So I guess YouTube knows that flamenco TV is actually secretly a gypsy. Look, okay. Look, there's more of this. There's like eight different videos about why these people all hate flamenco. I don't think I have even that many videos about... Look, watch this. Hate Kiwi Farms. Let's see. Kiwi... Oh, Flower Gothic. I did a video on her. Kiwi Farms doesn't hate me, but y'all don't understand sarcasm. Kiwi Farms by Wiki for All. And then Archie Luxury Famous on Kiwi Farms for... These results are actually bizarre. Oh, kiwi fruit harvesting. Okay, look, this is off topic. My point was is that people are angry at flamenco, and I know why. And you don't have to watch a two-hour-long right, video by the Buffalo Wild Wings man to understand this. And in a nutshell, flamenco. Here are your issues. Number one, flamenco wants to be Daddy Jim. Flamenco, like many people, have decided that they actually want to eat. They want to eat Jim Medicker's heart and and inherit his powers as internet daddy on the TV. Number two, um, I have notes. Actually, I wrote this down, my explanation of why everyone hates flamenco. 
Okay, so he's 30 years old. He's from a he's from a different era of the internet where like everything goes. But then, conversely, he's 34, I apologize. Uh conversely, on the other on the other hand, his audience is like VTubers, VTuber animes. And they're all very sensitive and be, like the zeitgeist and the VTuber community is that you're not allowed to dox any of the VTubers. So doxing is wrong. So he's like try, trying to simultane, simultaneously make these three conflicting stances work in harmony. A, he has to be an anime person. B, he's, um, he's from a different era because he's old and kind of related. He wants to be like an aloof, cool internet father. And when you, tr when you have like the cool aloof person, but he's also very insecure about himself and he's trying to like play up this character to make people like him more, you're going to have instances where uh, he just embarrasses himself because he's, he's trying to be too many things at once instead of just... Uh, doing what he wants to do. But chances are, if he was just himself genuinely, he would be appalling to people. So there is like a, a, a mask there that has to be maintained. Whereas everyone knows that I'm a, I'm a horrible cunt. <laughs> I'm, I'm terrible. And you should, you should not trust me. Well, actually, it's the other way around. Everyone thinks that I'm a terrible cunt. And they watch my streams and they realize I'm just lovely. And everybody should give me super chats. Anyways, uh, that's enough of Flamenco for one day. Um, speaking, okay, I have, I have, cause there's not that much to talk about today. I've separated all my, all my, my notes into two categories. I have internet celebrities and then the degenerates. And so we're, we're, I've got like a row of internet celebrity stuff here and the, the very minor Ralph update, Ralph has been quiet recently because Ralph has um, been witnessing the, the the aftermath of uh, the power chat stuff, which I, will, I I promise I will talk about at the end of my internet celebrity stuff. But Foodie is single again. Ah, trust me, I got Chantal in this too. She's in the degenerate column. <laughs> um, so Ralph Ralph moved, and he says, uh, regardless, if I have to share my address to see my son parentheses doubt it and let those people dox me again putting my daughter in danger then i'll show him the same record one day down the line i will never share my new address and there's no one who can make me so ethan ralph has moved to location unknown and it has started the great gunt hunt the the greatest gunt hunt that has there ever been Everybody is trying to figure out where Ethan Ralph lives because he's he's basically I mean he made it he gamified it he went on the internet and said y'all will never find me oh now now it's like fun you've made it you made it fun you you whipped out the Monopoly board set up all the pieces and said y'all will never beat me in this game of Monopoly and it was like well fuck it I'm gonna sit down because all the pieces are right here I'm gonna start playing I'm gonna pass go motherfucker watch me so uh. It has been six days since this announcement. I have taken the timestamp of this tweet and I have put on the Kiwi Farms a timer from from counting the seconds from this tweet. And when someone makes a post that is his actual address, when we confirm it's his address, I will stop the timer at the timestamp of that first post and we'll see how long it took for us to beat Ethan Ralph and find his address again. And I bet you it'll probably be by the end of this month. Uh, given how fast things in the, the Ralphaverse move. Um, but that's about it as far as Ralph. The the speculation is is that Ralph has broken up with May because she is nowhere to be seen. The baby is nowhere to be seen. And that's quite suspicious. <laughs> I think the story is that they still have the old apartment in New York. But we last saw May in her father's kitchen because she posted a picture of herself in her father's kitchen. So we think that she just went up to her dad's place and Ralph has moved with his uncle. He's either moved to his uncle's house, which we know he has several like houses that he's fixing up, or he moved to Florida. Uh, there was a very convincing post where you could see the corner of Ralph's room and it had like a kind of... Um, electrical fuse box and then in the the layout of the uncle's house that we have pictures of there is a electrical um hookup to the house on the corner of the house from the outside 
and someone said that it would make sense for the fuse box to be in that corner if the electrical hookup on the outside was on that side of the house. So we might have already found it, and we just have to prove it. Um, but after that post, Ralph has put up a green screen so that you can't see anything in his room anymore. But we'll see. You said she wasn't pregnant before. Okay, it's not my fault that the malnourished horse does not even look pregnant when she was like nine months pregnant. You could not see a baby on that woman. She did not. She never developed like breastfeeding apparatuses on her chest. She never okay, look. She looked like she 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 did not look different before or after giving birth. I, if you were to tell me now that May pulled that baby out of a hospital and ran out with it, I would not be surprised. Let's say, yeah, that sounds about right because it never looked like she was pregnant to begin with. Anyways, it's enough about May. Uh, I have not listened to this clip all the way through. It's three minutes long. And it's very disgusting. Uh, I give up about 10 seconds in. For your entertainment and or disgust, I will now play all three minutes of it. <laughs> Sonic Boom says, that's too bad. I like Nora. Too bad she turned out to be a backstabber. Well, you know what? I liked her too. I took her virginity. So just to clarify, Nora has never said anything about Ralph publicly in like the three plus years that they've been separated. And for some reason, Ralph has been seething about her um, for a while, for a reasons completely unknown to everybody. And that hotel room many years ago. That was still enjoyable though. Daddy's home, kids. I, use your nose I remember her saying, oh, I said, uh, you know what? Well, maybe I'll say this. I remember her saying, that's too big. That's too big. There's no way. She was wrong. Might have hurt a little bit, but. Uh, and again, I'm not saying I made every right move and that I always treated her the right way because I didn't. And uh, I can sit here and think about some things that I did the wrong way too. But I'm saying I should have just ended it because um, there was no reason whatsoever to continue on in a relationship like that. Bitch, you don't have the balls to come out here and talk shit about me, but I'll say whatever the fuck I want about you, whore. Nora, you bitch. Stop me. Come out here and say something about it then. If you don't like it, if you don't like it, why don't you go in the casino then, bitch? Fucking whore. You want to send all your minions out here to talk shit? I'm not scared. I will fucking dominate your ass just like I did that first time we met in the fucking hotel room, you dirty skank. Z again. Bring it, bitch. Being friends with somebody. There would be no right-wing coalition. Oh, and I literally dominated the ass, by the way. Yeah. But I can tell you what, bitch. I know who you've sent out. I know what you've done. I dare you. I fucking dare you to come on one of these shows. I dare you to fuck with me. She has said nothing. If he knows something about her talking about him, uh, nobody else knows. Literally nobody else has any clue of her, her talking bad about him. It looks like, from all records, it looks like she wants to completely and totally forget that he ever existed. You won't. Because I'll absolutely bury you under the fucking ground. Figure. It kind of goes back to point number one. This is why we. Oh, you want to talk all this shit? Or, oh, 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 I was. Bra bitch, n n you weren't brainwashed, you fucking dumb whore. You were a collaborator. You wrote article after article for my website. You ran my website while I was in jail. There's nobody on this earth who's going to believe the shit you're selling. I double dog dare you to ever open your fucking mouth about me, bitch. God, I want that to happen. I want it to happen. I'm talking to you, whore, right fucking now. I want you to do that. Because I got a lot to say. Who we should disavow. I'm sure one of the co founders of the kill stream, actually. It's so bizarre how he keeps, he's like so angry he can't let that Nick clip play because he just keeps screaming again. I also like how you can tell that he's in a house that no woman has ever been in because it's so echoey.
Like, you put a woman into, like, a bare bones room, the first thing she's going to do is throw some upholstery on some shit, put up, put in, like, a rug, put, put, put like, a, a sofa in or something so that you don't have that that reverb in the mic. But, um, no, he's just, like, in an empty room by himself screaming about, <laughs> about his ex-wife. Like, he's trying to, to LARP as a Bill Dotry. He's just, he's just alone and angry <laughs> about Lenore. <laughs> Oh, um, I don't know. I found I found this clip uh, disgusting and very sad too. There's nothing that he hates more than women, by the way. Uh, here, here's an example of this. And it's up here too. It's not on the shoulder, which would be one thing. It's like okay, she's got her hand on his shoulder, whatever. It's up here. This is a more intimate spot than here. You know what I mean? Like this versus this are two different things. First off, don't put your fucking hands on another man. First thing. But second off. This is different from this. You know what I mean? Like, this is... Oh, we fucked. And it's up here. This is a, a Twitter clip by... I'll call it out. Me and... Phi... Thing, the, I cannot pronounce this name. I'm sorry. I tried to give you a shout out, but you have picked the worst fucking username ever in the history. Uh, for those that couldn't hear it, uh, there's a clip of someone, I think that that girl related to Lauren Southern, like her little sister that Ralph has uh, been openly thirsting about since she was 17. Uh, who who may I don't know. I'm, there's a there's a non-zero possibility that the Ralph saga ends with him trying to creep on her and him getting shot in the process because he's been after uh, Jess Southern for for literally like five plus years at this point, but. She has her hand on a guy's shoulder, and he's saying that that's Lauren. Oh, that's right. She's accusing. There was a. I'll get to that in a second. But oh, oh, the guy is someone that she's related to. So they're like cousins or something. And she has she has a hand on his shoulder, and he's trying to call her a whore because she has a uh, a hand on her cousin's shoulder, saying that there's that they fuck when. I don't know. Okay, here's the question, chat. I'm going to put the poll up. Who's the bottom? Ralph or C CRP? Because we know from Ralph and Male Logic that CRP and Ralph have fucked based on the... It's kind of... I, I don't know. I guess it's kind of like the 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 crotch face inward, cross, crotch face the world thing that that guy came up with, the MGTOW guy. So this is like hand on shoulder they fuck. And now I asked I asked my my audience who is the bottom in this relationship between Ethan Ralph and Coach Red Pill and the votes are coming in we got about 500 votes right now with 81 percent of people saying that Ralph is the bottom, which is just disgusting because we know that Ralph doesn't wear underpants and his his uh his his ass cheeks are probably caked and shit if we're gonna be honest there, there's no way that proper hygiene I guarantee you that where Dick is standing you can smell it. You can smell the 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 eau de gunt coming up from from below. But uh, yeah, at eight hundred votes, eighty two, eighty three percent of people say that Ethan Ralph would be the bottom in this this position, <laughs> this uh this relationship. Uh, by the way, this is Lord Southern actually responded to this and pointed out that, uh, like I said, that what's his face is the um. A cousin, I'm pretty sure. Slutty Southern vid, because she has. That's that's bizarre. That's his angle. He really hates Lauren Southern because of her relationship with Odyssey. I guess he really hates women in general. Um. By the way, I've not watched this. I'm just gonna recap it because I don't care. Uh, Lauren Southern put out a video where apparently apparently she's been gone for a while. I didn't know about that either, which is why I um. Oh, she made fun of his sex tape with Venti. Oh, Venti and her made fun of the sex tape. Okay, there you go. They made fun of his little thumb penis, and that's why. That's why he's angry at her. It's boring. I bet it is. Uh, the key talking points are this, and I'll just read this. Milo Yiannopoulos defrauded a charity he and others set up to benefit white trash and blackmailed multiple people within the conservative movement to save his own reputation and did a lot of projection and tried to save himself. I think that that's referring to the uh, privilege grant. He... When he was famous, briefly, he set up a college fund for white people, white males, called the Privilege Grant. 
that may, that got like several like like two hundred thousand dollars, and I don't think a single guy got money from that. So I guess he just stole the money, allegedly. Tommy Robinson would frequently hang out with people he had very heated political feuds with, implying there's a lot of kayfabe. More controversially, he is as the allegation that he invited someone of an imposing view to the Day for Freedom event, which was sitting around free speech in the UK, only to turn on the person as soon as they showed up and claimed he never invited them, which upset the entire event. Tommy Robinson was the guy in the UK who got arrested for trying to report on Julian Assange. That's the only thing I know him for. And Paul Joseph Watson lost his shit when he got turned down by Lauren while they were together at some event. Most of this is already known, but Lauren revealed she will drop more embarrassing shit about him if he doesn't leave her alone and quit lying about her. Paul Joseph Watson is the guy who's British, also British, and very obnoxious, and he says, Imagine my shock! And he has, like, this horrific... Uh, I don't know. His ga mouth gapes open when he says it. I, that's one. Imagine my shock and uh, let that sink in are two of my least favorite boomer expressions. He got re arrested for reporting on grooming. Oh, that's it. He um, <clears throat> the UK court told him not to go near a court proceeding um that was happening regarding those the Asian the Asian groomer gangs in the UK. And he went there and he got, he not only got like arrested though, but they black bagged him. Like they like hushed him aside and cause arrests are not public in the UK. Like nobody knew what happened to him. He just disappeared for like a couple days. And then they finally let him talk to his attorney and he was still in jail. The UK is, is really just a lovely place, but imagine my shock and let that sink in are like my least two favorite boomerisms because I always think of Paul Joseph Watson doing that stupid face he does when he says it. And then let that sink in. I just think of like a sink knocking at the door like, hello, hello. And I think of that expression, if you're cold, he's cold, let let him in. And it's like a thing where if it's like snowing out, outside, you should let your dog inside. But it's the sink. He's outside and he's cold and he needs to be let in too. So you gotta let that sink in. I don't know. I just, I just fucking hate that expression. I guess that's like a uniquely autistic thing that I have. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> uh, so I don't know. Good for Lauren Southern, I guess. I don't really have anything against her. Surprisingly, I can usually make up a reason not to like someone. I don't, I don't know anything about Lauren Southern, except that uh, her name would be better as Laura Southern, uh, which I, I called her for two years before someone corrected me. Okay, well, let me get a sip of water before I talk about this. She's phony. I'll give you a hint. They're all phony. She's alt right, but she's married to an Asian guy. Like, okay, whatever. What's funny is that um, the Asian guy she's married to is Australian, I think. So there's a lot. <laughs> Every Australian I know is Chinese. It's very bizarre how that works out. Well, she was aligned with the uh, as uh, by like other people aligned her as the alt right. I think she might have even said that she was alt right before uh, the media started saying that that was like a neo Nazi thing. Because there was a very brief period in time in 2015 where or 2016 where being alt right just meant that you were like a uh, conservative but not a retard, and then they ruined that. The the frog lady ruined that by saying uh, that the alt right is a new new threat to democracy, and then she shouted up Pepe the Frog in a in a political rally and ruined that forever too. Anyways, uh, this is a guy on Twitter. His name is Hussar, and I'm I debated showing this because. I kind of, I'm, I was torn at first that it could just be like a thing intentionally designed to, to humiliate Nick Fuentes. But now I'm pretty sure that this is just real. Like you can't, like if I was a federal agent, I wouldn't be able to come up with something like this on brand for America first. Who saw 1776 American nationalist, America first, 100% Bavarian Christian zoomer, Teutonic supremacist, six foot seven, 140 IQ anime head. Um, I don't know what AJ, I don't even want to guess what AJG4L is. Founder of Rust Waffen. That better not mean like Rust, the programming language. I'll be pissed off. But he says down here Undying loyalty goes to, in this order, number one, Cunny, number two, Child Chest and Tummy, Erotic. 
Number three, Nick Fuentes and America First and the Aryan Race, number four. And the his entire profile is just like dedicated to how much he wants to fuck kids and how much he loves anime. And uh he's I would say like look this how many quotes and retweets does a post have to get before it just becomes like, yeah, this is just like the America First audience. So Following uh, this, me finding this, I uh, someone pointed out that Nick Fuentes said something stupid in his last broadcast, so I went and checked it out, downloaded it, clipped it, and I'll play it for now uh, for your edutainment. Oh, God, do I have to explain this? Okay. Honey is a word used exclusively by pedophiles. Exclusively by pedophiles. It is a term to refer to the vagina of a child. If you hear the word cunny, you know the person saying it is a pedophile. No exceptions. It is not used by anything else. In fact, I'm going to block this guy because this guy is definitely a pedophile. Okay. Just so you know. Uh, it's, like a, it's like a fun little dog whistle that they use. Hunter Biden in some kind of green. He's in some kind of green pool. Hunter Biden is currently in the bathrooms. <laughs> Hunter Biden has been transported to a liminal space right now. Everybody's complaining and crying. Well, the president's son can't just be having sex with his niece and and uh, and on drugs all the time. And, and he's just in a liminal space at the moment with an ambient green lighting. So I don't really see what the fuss is. They're, they're Keno. I don't care what you say. The Biden family is Keno. You know, you can say whatever you want, but they're Kino, okay? And if you disagree, it's kind of like a bitch energy. No offense, but if you disagree with that, it's kind of like a bitch energy. <laughs> He's smoking crack. You know, imagine, like, being so uptight about that. Um, it's Kino. Sorry. Some things are just, some things are just based, and you just either you get it or you don't. Some things are just based. Either you get it or you don't. This was made uh, after leaks of Hunter Biden's iPhone or whatever were made public. And they include several pictures like this. This is a real picture of the president's son. And any other timeline, the, if the president's son had pictures like this on his phone uh, with a pillow hiding his boner, there would be beheadings you would literally be dragging your elected representatives out of out of their homes and executing them for for allowing this to continue on but in darkest timeline 2022 our president's son is openly that's literally not hunter biden okay whatever there's there's um well there's there's pictures i can't show where it's lit literally pictures of um Hunter Biden's cock being grabbed by little girls uh, and they're, they're Asian. So it's like ambiguous of who they are. And they compare the birthmarks of kids in his phone with the, uh, the crop pictures of the other pornography of Hunter Biden and they, they match up and it's just like any other timeline people would be throwing a bigger fit, but it, like Biden doesn't even care. Which I guess is his point. His real point, I hopefully, is not that being a philanderer that does crack and goes to Ukraine and fucks kids uh, is base. It's that, isn't it funny that they're just so aloof and above it all that it doesn't even matter. And literally anything can happen. And uh, they suffer no consequences for it. Isn't that, isn't that wonderful? Is it legit real? I don't know. I've been, I've been intentionally avoiding it. I've only shown what I've seen. Someone said that that's not Hunter Biden, which if it's not Hunter Biden, it looks a lot like him. Uh, those kids, I think, match pictures, uh, other pictures that Hunter Biden has on his on from previous leagues. It's not. OK, well, OK, that's great, then. I'm one, I'm very happy to hear that. That's not Hunter Biden. our elected representatives are normal people just like us, and they don't engage in any horrific uh, acts against humanity. And it's good to know. I have two different anime avatars, avatars telling me two different things. I'm fine, anime avatar says that it's not him. 
And then uh, Comfy Wizard, also an anime avatar, says it is him. Now I don't know what to believe. If the, even the anime avatars disagree, uh, there's no hope for me to figure it out. Okay, and then uh, to catch up on a thing that I, I mentioned last stream. I brought up, uh, which I think collectively my statements about this totaled 12 minutes, 15 minutes of, of my, uh, my entire runtime of my stream. I brought up that I had a grievance with Pei 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 who tried to accuse me wrongly of foul play, pay for play with Dick Masterson in New Project 2. And then years later, he starts up his program, which is very successful. Good for him. And he collects super chats through power chat system which is reckless with user information. And my entire point was that it's very hypocritical that he would try and cause problems for me. Try to, by the way. He was not the reason why New Project 2 went down, but he tried to cause problems and did cause a kerfuffle. And then years later, he would basically do everything that he was against the entire time. And I just pointed out that's hypocritical, and I don't appreciate that, and I don't think most people would either. And then since that... In part because Jim pointed it out, in part because I pointed it out, and in part because uh, Godwinson made a sudden return. This is not the he uses the Jim name, but it's Godwinson. Godwinson comes out of nowhere and releases a 45 minute long video of him uh, condemning PPP for uh, the super chat thing, the power chat thing specifically, because power chat has a has uh, connections to identity fraud that has been complained about. Uh, not direct, both not directly related to PPP and not related to PPP because IPT uses it too. And when I first saw this, I thought, well, you know, Godwinson and PPP have been close friends for a very long time, and I assumed it was kayfabe, and it could still be kayfabe. But PPP's reaction was just to try and ignore it, and Andy Worski uh, blocked people who brought it up to him. And they banned a bunch of people in chat, and so I don't know. I don't know if it's kayfabe. Maybe not. Uh, my intention, not that I'm taking credit for it, but my intention is not to, like, ruin his show for anyone. I don't care. Like, if he makes money, good for him. Uh, and the money that they make, it, when you, like, take off the, the fees and you split it between PPP and Andy Worski, it's not as much as it seems like, so it's not like they're making bank like uh, Hus what's his name um the the communist on twitch or whatever it's just like it's a good amount of money but it's not like an inconceivable amount of money hassan anyways my point is is that i was just airing my grievance with that and uh all the, the subsequent drama is seems to be i don't know if you would say that it's something that i started or not probably not uh but ppp responded with like a 45 minute response and it's like bro I, I don't even want to hear what you have to say <laughs> like it's literally not a discussion um i'm not trying to just sort this out with you i don't want to talk to you my entire point was that you're um you're you're very bad faith i don't think there's a single thing that ppp has ever said that was in good faith uh it, it's just sort of like i'm gonna throw whatever shit i can and i hope it sticks and if it doesn't stick whatever i'll move on to the next thing and then you know i'll do the the exact same shit that i call people out on and nobody will care because as long as it's entertaining then whatever right as long as it's funny like who gives a shit it's like fine go for it if that's your mo go for it uh, more power to you but i'm not going to be a part of it uh, and that's it. So, so I think that they're trying to like bait me into some kind of like huge response. And to be honest, I didn't even listen to the, to his response. And for some reason, when, pe when I say that people get like, of course you listen to every Kino Casino. I, I really don't. Um, there's a reason why my streams are two hours long at tops. Cause I like brevity and the shows are very long and, uh, I don't have the, the, the inclination to listen to six hours of, of stream. I just can't. Uh, and Whatever he has to say in response to my first point, I don't, I don't care to hear it because it's going to be wrong. <laughs> I like I know I know what's right, uh, so it's just, it's like why would I listen to something intentionally designed to try and piss me off? There's no there's no reason to. I apologize. I don't know if that's like the 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 wrong thing to do and that like the popular thing to do is like you're not going to change my mind. I'm not going to change your mind. So why why engage it at all?
anyways uh i think that's it is there is there any, I'll, I'll look at chat for this is there anything in uh in regards to ppp or kino casino that i should should explicitly mention that i've neglected in in this uh i i, I will defer to chat for this uh, there was, um, someone posted tomatoes. There was a lot of, like, tomato spam, and they brushed it off by just saying that it was Ralph raiding his chat, which I don't think is entirely true. I know that Ralph was, act like, raiding his chat, but Ralph doesn't really have any viewers, so that's not going to be it. Uh, new Project 3, oh, God. Dick Masterson says he's going to make another New Project 2. Uh, I have no idea what that is, but I, I will have no part of it, whatever it is. I, I promise. Am I going to cover Worski boxing when it happens? Absolutely not. There is nothing that I could be less interested in. Surfer one. <laughs> oh. Is it time to sacrifice PPP to the corn? I, I mean, when I said that about Ralph, I really, I meant that in a way of like, if all of these people are going to come after Ralph and Ralph is not going to do anything to make his situation any better. And he's just going to like continually blunder through like then he's the weakest link and I, I can't like you know I, I can't eat shit for Ralph I'm not going to eat shit for Ralph but I don't have any association with PPV so uh, that's not really my call to make Worski wants to make a payment processor well good luck opening a bank requires about five million dollars of capital and to get licensed as a payment processor in every state in the US you need about 40 million dollars just for the bureaucracy of getting licensed as a payment processor. So have fun with that, Worski. Um, just become Visa. Yeah, exactly. Uh, okay, I think that's it. By the way, uh, Godwinson, one th other thing. Godwinson really doesn't like me, and it breaks my heart because I like Godwinson, even though he's Anglo. He's, he's at the list of Anglos that I have. Godwinson is up there right at the top. Um, she doesn't say much. He's still Anglo. He's got like a serious debuff to his uh his likability, but he's up at the top. He does hate me. I know that's okay. A lot of a lot of people hate me. If I limited who I liked by uh who liked me, there would be a circle of maybe like four people tops, and then that's about it. And I just got to deal with it. I got to cope, sneed uh about uh about who likes me. Anyways, moving on. We're now into the DGen column of my content for today. Yanov, who I did a stream on, in case you're curious, you have to find that on Odyssey because I'm sure that gets taken down on YouTube at this point. Um, so many, many eons ago when Yanov was more active in the suing people department, uh, Rebel Media got involved because he was like international news for a bit. You had like he was such a great trope because he was this fat Jewish Canadian tranny exploiting the fuck out of liberal Canada's human rights tribunals to just utterly humiliate people and ruin lives and shit all over the Canadian flag. He was like everything that everybody hated, like a walking refutation of trans rights as a whole. Everybody wanted a big piece of that ass because they were like, ooh, this guy is. This guy is like a, a, a golem. This man exists specifically to validate my worldviews against trans shit. So when he was um, he was out and about, everybody was trying to capitalize on the Jonathan Yanov shit. And one of those people trying to capitalize on Jonathan Yanov was a group called Rebel Media, which I do not like much because everything I've seen from Rebel Media is grifting and humiliating and embarrassing amateurish they are just completely unlikable um but they got up in yanov's face and he like assaulted them i think and he got convicted of that which was like his uh second second criminal conviction but then he sued them for defamation and the uh british columbia court system has thrown that out and what i want to write about here is uh or read here out of the, all this document is page two because the judge essentially says jonathan yana cannot be defamed because he's such a piece of shit so lauren southern actually had a story about rebel media grifting for israel in her video <laughs> that's very funny uh how how 
how sad of that then for them to go after one of their own. It's a Hebrew on Hebrew violence. Truly, I condemn that in the strongest possible terms. Only that is behavior I would expect from the Goyim. Anyways, uh, paragraph five here and the Human Rights Tribunal verdict between Simpson v. By the way, his name is literally Jessica Simpson now. It's, he, the government of Canada allowed him to change his name to Je from Jonathan Yanov to Jessica Simpson. Uh, and by the way, the, the judge is kind of based, but he lives in Canada, so he's also a cuckold. And the pronoun for Jonathan Yanov is her throughout the entire thing. The tone of her online rhetoric is often highly combative. She has been critical of individual businesses, governments, and other organizations for, for perceived wrongs against her will and will often publicly announce or threaten the commencement of legal proceedings. Often, she follows through on those threats. She has been a prolific litigant before this court, the Provincial Court, and the British Columbia Human Rights Tribunal. Parentheses, quote, HRT, using her name, uh, using her current name, her previous name, Jessica Yanov, or her birth name, Jonathan Yanov. Oh, the, <laughs> the judge is like just sitting there, like her name, her birth name, Jonathan Yanov. Based, he wants to, but he can't. He, he is he's bound by the the throne of cuckoldry. That is the the seat of the judge in British Columbia. Paragraph six. The following are some examples. A small claims action commenced by Jessica Yaniv in provincial court on March 17, 2020, against another individual for addressing the claimant using male pronouns and her birth name of Jonathan, seeking $15,000 in damages and other relief. B. A small claims action commenced by Jessica Yanov in provincial court on March 17, 2020, so the same day, against another individual alleging harassment and th uh, uttering threats, seeking $35,000 in damages and other relief. C. A small claims action commenced by Jessica Simpson in provincial court on August 26, 2020 against the town of Langley and the Langley RCMP seeking $35,000 in damages for the following wrongs, among others. I. A failure to respond properly to her 911 calls. To, uh, I, I, I guess two. Addressing her following her arrest using male pronouns and birth name, and three, a failure to accede to her demand that she be strip searched only by female, <laughs> a failure to... <coughs> so they told him to fuck off. <laughs> a failure to accede to her demands that she be strip searched only by female rather than male police officers. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. I did not know that. Uh, D, a small claims action commenced by Jessica Simpson in provincial court on January 18th, 2021, alleging an unlawful release of her personal health information by employees of the Fraser Health Authority, seeking $35,000 in damages and other release. Um, I believe, by the way, that this information was released because he sued them, which authorized them to use his medical information in court cases uh, to defend themselves. So if he hadn't have sued them to begin with, um, they wouldn't have had to release any of that information. E. A small claims action commenced by Jessica Simpson in provincial court on March 23rd, 2021, against her Strata Corporation, alleging various discriminatory acts, including, among other things, one, a refusal to allow her to use one of the two disabled parking stalls in the building, and two, requiring her to remove a <laughs> rainbow flag from her balcony. <laughs> and finally, F, an action commenced by Jessica Simpson in the court of May 20, 21, against the Attorney General of Canada and the Ministry of Justice of British Columbia and two RCMP officers alleging various wrongful acts committed by the police officers against her mother and other relatives. Uh, Miss Simpson has also been very active in advancing complaints before the HRT. <laughs> that, is, that, that is such a funny name. It's, it's truly like divine, uh, divine programming. The, the Human Rights Tribunal is just coincidentally HRT. Um, 
In early 20, 2018, she filed her complaints against a hair salon. Well, we are know we know this. And that's just uh, going into more details about the Human Rights Tribunal. And that they were all dismissed. Because remember, in case you don't remember, very briefly, um, Yana became famous because when he was first transitioning to the beautiful woman that we all know him as today, uh, he wanted to get his balls waxed so that he was as smooth as a baby's bottom. And he went to a waxing salon, and in many cases, of the five waxing professionals that he visited, they were all women who just operated out of their car. So, you know, you said, I want, I want like a Brazilian, and they'll be like, okay, well, we'll come to you with our kit, or you come to our house. And then it's like, it's not like a studio, it's just like a person doing waxing. So then Yanov shows up. And he's like, I need you to wax my balls. And it's just a woman living by herself in her home, doing this out of her house. And this guy shows up, this this Jewish ogre shows up and is like, you got you to gotta wax my swamp. And, and she's like, no, sir, I will not wax your balls, your female balls. And then she then uh, Yana sued all those women for refusing to wax his balls which is what started the circus. But the circus actually had a little bit of a rough opening weekend because naturally the first people to report on this were feminists. They were like turfs and shit on Twitter and they all got banned. In fact, I've mentioned this before, but I'll mention it again. Um, there was a feminist blog on WordPress, uh, wordpress.com. So, you know, WordPress has like a free open source thing where you can host your own site, but you can also host on wordpress.com directly for free or for a premium package. Anyways, WordPress is actually very strict when it comes to not taking content down. And when, uh, various weirdos were fucking with my family, they had, my family could not get outright defamatory things and like Photoshop porn of people in my family taken down from WordPress because Word WordPress just refused without a court order to take anything down. So their, their standard for taking shit down is really, really high. It's like almost Kiwi farms tier and base and what they refuse to take down. Um, but for some reason, uh, Yanov was able to uh, get anything about him on WordPress taken down, and he was able to get anything about him taken down on Twitter. Uh, and he got the Kiwi Farms thread about him taken uh, taken down. And when this started kind of spreading in like the alternative news circles, he, um, I did a stream on him. I did a stream on him in December of 2019, I think. Maybe maybe even 2018. It's been a while. And I was talking about him, or I was going to talk about him, and I used a picture of him in the thumbnail. Oh, no, he didn't get the, the forms that were taken down. He got it taken down from Google. So you couldn't find it on any kind of search engine. Um, but I was going to talk about him on YouTube, and I used the thumbnail, including him. And he like got my, my stream taken down, and I got a strike uh, for copyright shit just from the thumbnail, like before it even started. And I only scheduled it like a couple hours in advance. So he was able to get this shit pushed through in record time. It was really crazy. And then only after the news broke and it was an international circus and all this shit was happening, did, uh, did he stop having the power to just curate the internet? So here's a picture of him. With the co-founder of Twitter, uh, at Biz. And I don't know how he did this. I don't know what kind of rabbitic spell he cast. But he had like direct access to very high-profile people in Silicon Valley who were more than willing to delete whatever the fuck he asked for on the internet. Um, and people should never forget that. That when you wonder, what do those Janny trannies that run Reddit look like? Who are the people curating content on YouTube? Who are the people handling privacy takedown complaints on Google search? They are literally people like Jonathan Yanov that have control over what you see every day in your life. And they have access to your private data. And they don't give a fuck. And they're going to do whatever it takes to get HRT into the hands of kids. Because that's what gets them off. And everybody should be disgusted by it. And they should be ready to behead media executives at this point. When, when the, the signal, when the Skyrider 
puts the signal in the sky, you have to be ready because the otherwise we will have a a futurist nightmare matrix world where all the robots managing the matrix look like Jonathan Yanov. Truly disgusting. The deer thing on Twitch, yeah, exactly. Uh, speaking of Twitch, um, Keffels. By the way, my um, I got a copyright strike. I mentioned this last stream. My counter was forwarded to Keffels. I sent him an email saying, reinstate my video, you fat piece of shit. And he didn't respond. Um, but currently the Kiwi Farms is making him very angry. And I'm waiting for uh, YouTube to reinstate my video so I can very quickly delete it. <laughs> um, but Keffels decided that he was going, because he's still having a spat with the quartering. And he decided that he was going to talk to someone defending the quartering called S Stardust. Um, who apparently is like a Twitch feminist streamer or some shit. I don't know. I don't know anything about them. Oh, it says here, context. Lucas is tard raging over Stardust Association with Flamenco. Everybody hates Flamenco today, except for Stardust. Uh, basically, Lucas decides that he is going to try and get Stardust to denounce the Kiwi Farms. And Stardust refuses. Which is kind of base. I don't know anything about them. I hope that they're not like secretly a creepy weirdo, but uh, they refuse. And this is the resulting chimp out from from Keffels. It's kind of hypocritical to be um, blaming him for being part of a forum. Oh, right? shut the that fuck up, you stupid bitch! Really? Blaming him for being part of a threat that is engaged in so much harassment that my fucking mother's address was leaked and they went after my family. How fucking discourse brained are you that this is actually something that you would say? Holy. Uh, so I'm not trying to. This is why the. Uh, she takes that so well, by the way. He just flies off the handle and calls her like all these like slurs and calls her like a cunt and a bitch and she's just like yeah so anyways and just moves on to the next topic apparently she's pakistani which is bizarre um but this is why i always say that america first people remind me so much of incels because like keffels is the perfect example of an incel to troon and with the right push i think nick fuentes would become a troon too that would be a great arc he'd probably make a lot of money we churned out and it's like I, I really I just I I um was always so unhappy because I was secretly a woman deep down inside and now I realize that and my name is now Nicole Fuentes. Ooh woo. He would make so much fucking money. It might happen too. You never know these days. Uh so I'm not trying to get you mad or anything. Okay, like that. then actually be a fucking person. Right. I, I've expressed to you that I don't approve of doxing. He's in I your chat. Tell yes, him you don't approve of him being in Kiwi Farms. He, he knows that I don't approve of doxing, but Kiwi but Farms you're like is okay with it. So, but you're okay with people who engage in that in your community because he's there right now. I mean, I don't think people in my community engage in that. Nobody in my community is flamenco not part anybody. of your community. Is he not in your chat? Just like you said. He, like look at okay look at that agp rage he's so angry that that she just won't flat denounce the, the the community and she's like i don't support doxing but the kiwi farms is different than that and he's like no you have to apologize correctly he's a femoid much bigger, he has a much bigger community than i do we had this platforming discussion five minutes ago we had the platforming discussion He's in your fucking chat. You're not doing anything. You don't care. This is just fucking content but to it, you. Unless, unless you have, unless you have screenshots, I'm willing to ban him if you have screenshots look, of him look posting. At, look at this face. What is this face? Just unless, in, in silence. Look at this. <laughs> engaged in the fucking thread. He engaged in a group okay, harassment campaign. How are you so fucking stupid? That right. you can't because... see that this is the issue. Okay, the issue one, is one that second, he engaged in a group. So again, yes. just because people hate on me, right? And, yes. that, and I can say the same thing about when people have been directed hate towards me. I Just because they've engaged in it doesn't mean they're also responsible for every single thing that happens as a result of that hate. He is he's part of the group that is responsible directly. He directly encouraged it. I... I assume no responsibility for flamenco. Grr. Grr. Don't you dare. I, don't you dare, Cuffles. Grr. Don't 
don't you say that that he's a part of the kiwi farms you fucker i've seen the shit he said about me i've seen his fucking like cozy stream where he uses memes that use content from the fucking thread how is he not culpable here what kind of content does he use from the thread oh shut the fuck up you want me to like pull up the nazi site and look over his memes I mean, Flamenco I... uses the Kiwi Farms. Show me his. Show me what content he uses from the Kiwi Farms. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Who asked you? I did not say something that I could easily prove if it was true. I, I don't. The reason why I'm asking is because I don't know. I haven't paid. You don't know. By the way, I came here to talk about you and me, not about him. By the way, by this the way, is by why the way. I'm mad. By the way, by the way, by the way, take a little detour. We're halfway through. <laughs> So we are in the Caffles thread. We're going to go up to the search feature. We're going to say this thread by Flamenco. There he is. Oh, there are posts. In there. Oh, ho, ho. Ho, ho. He is active. How many posts is this? This is at least 20 some posts. Let's see. see doxing i don't see i don't see him saying anything he says white women get fucked by dogs i don't think keffels is a white woman though i don't see anything from him doxing keffels Hmm. Do Nazi sites have frog threads? Exactly. Not a Nazi site. Exactly. We'll continue the video. Because you have no morals. You have no principles. You're willing to just stand by people who engage in group harassment on a forum that multiple trans people have fucking killed well, themselves you over. Born, you Name one. Group Name a single one besides Bew, because that doesn't count because he's still alive. Alive and well. He's living in that bunker with Tupac in Serbia. I met him. I went over there with cookies one day. Group harassment? Apples. Group harassment. Yes, you have. Do you have anyone you who have... has to fucking lock their door at night because they're scared because they get fucking like hate mail directed to that, their house I, just because they're associated with me? That that's not right. I've said that that's you not right. You said that's not right, but you two, won't do anything about the people in your right. community, who you interact with, who you call friends because you're a fucking snake. Okay, but I need I need screenshots of him actually all posting right. docs. I'll get all of those fucking he didn't post the fucking docs. He engaged in group harassment. If he encouraged He, he encouraged, encouraged like, other people by engaging in group Do you know what group harassment is? Do you have more than two fucking brain cells? Jesus, Stardust. I know I understand what group harassment is. I've had people on Cozy direct their entire followings to come ra hate raid me. So I understand what that is. But, um, Stardust I, isn't the one that does I, politically I, provoked, right? No, this person is way is not retarded enough to be the politically provoked person. Still need to see like like more than somebody just participating and being you know antagonistic towards somebody, right? In a fucking like, thread, in the same thread on a site made for group harassment that multiple people have killed themselves over. Are you fucking? St how stupid are you? Like how do you? You, post, you made a spreadsheet of of content creators who are all smaller than you that you wanted melina to... was on that spreadsheet what are you talking okay, but about gappy and i gappy and i are smaller than you i know and, gap and... yes and gappy and you both defended destiny who also engaged in my fucking kiwi farms thread and i have the screenshots for this did he post docs of you no, he doesn't need to. It's a fucking group harassment thread. This is great. Look at how upset he is. Like, this is like when Pete's rages. Like when Pete when Pete says something like, he he has this preconception, whatever it may be. He has any preconception in the world, and he says it like fact, and he just expects everyone to be like, hmm, well that presupposition is true. So I guess your following logical sequence must also be true. You're totally right. Like that's just what he expects because that is in line with his entire worldview. And then when people don't agree with him and say, no, actually you're wrong, and that presupposition is wrong itself, he's just like, what? How you got no two fucking brain cells to rub together, you stupid cunt, you bitch, fuck you, bitch. I don't need to prove shit, and that's exactly how Pete's gets frustrated when someone doesn't agree with him. Because in his mind, it's like the Kiwi Farms is inherent evil. 
anyone who uses posts or looks at the kiwi farms is also inherent evil how don't you get that and then she's just like mm, no i don't agree with that and he's just like what how what how do you not agree with me when i say this this is inherently true everyone i talk to believes that it's true and you disagree with me what okay but again i already will, told you you, you stupid me. fucking Wait, cunt heffles, jesus heffles. christ you have slandered me as a white nationalist as a white supremacist i, as a I literally do you, not give a single shit because a, you are to, to you groups. were part of to this to begin of with i was i am such a smaller con I, I don't care. You know what? This isn't, you know, this isn't doing anything. I, I really fucking hope the worst for this fucking bitch. I just banned her. I'm done. I'm literally done. Fuck her. Fuck you, mom. Absolutely fuck her. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna need a double strength shot of the HRT what after this. What a fucking snake. Literally comparing my so angry that she just wouldn't condemn the kiwi farms carte blanche that's great that's great that just shows you like where the how easy it is to piss people off all you have to do is just say well you know i see some posts on the kiwi farms that i like and then the people will just flip out at you it's so easy it's so easy to troll people oh god why is my chat on the screen completely fucking ruined i'll fix the uh oh uh oh Oh my god, my my thing is <laughs> my um Okay, get this. My my OBS is broken and it doesn't update when I click anything, but it appears to still be working. So I'm just I'm gonna have to continue this broadcast without using OBS at all. I cannot click anything anymore because <laughs> my my computer wants to wants to forty one percent itself after this lethal exposure to HRT on my screen. <laughs> uh oh, speaking of forty one percenting myself, um, so this guy is named Ar Arcturus, and he is the co. Oh, I shouldn't be showing all that. That's a nice Google map picture. I don't know where that goes to. Probably to a Taco Bell because I love Taco Bell. People like to post Taco Bell on my website. Uh, but Arcturus said on the Twitter, and this is the co-founder of E621 and one of the former admins of Fur Affinity, which if you don't know, and unfortunately I do know this, it is those two sites are like, like the the house and the senate for the entire furry community they're at like the tippy top they're the two most important sites because they're both where furries go to get their porn and to commission pornography and if you don't know anything about the furry community it is entirely dedicated to pornography and anyone claiming otherwise is fucking lying to you they're not even wrong they're lying it is about porn the creation of porn the transfer of porn the sharing of porn that is the furry fandom <clears throat> so on that note uh this guy i think he sold e621 there is a guy who the, who is extremely rich and I, I don't know his name, and I'm sure as soon as I, I talk about this, someone's going to start throwing the name out there. But he owns Bad Dragon, and he made so much fucking money selling horse cock to furries that he then took his horse cock money, Varka, immediately. M Mobambo Mobubu knows who the fuck I'm talking about. Varka then took his horse cock money and bought e621 from arctus arcturus and he now owns e621 and he's trying to make a new replacement to fur affinity because fur affinity is just shit and it's ran by retards now i know this because of my furry correspondence on the kiwi farms they've in, they've given me a rundown over the what is essentially the government structure of the kiwi of not the kiwi farms but of the furry community you have the house and the senate which are e621 and uh fur affinity 
And then you have essentially Varka, who is the Elon Musk of the furry community. And he's using his bad dragon Tesla money to buy out the government and control it wholly so that he will be the god king of the furry community. That, that is, Varka is a man who managed to make a fortune because he could not find a, a horse cock big enough to shove in his ass. And now he made a, he literally made a dildo company to make sufficiently sized horse cocks to shove inside of himself. And then he filmed himself using his own products and basically stretching out his anus to the, to the human limits. And then he posted that on the internet and his company made millions of dollars and he's now reinvesting that into the, the furry community. So this is, this is the, um, this is the lore. Anyways, the guy who made E621 attempted suicide or did like a fake suicide attempt. His name is currently Mix Juniper System. And by Mix, I mean like Mr., but the R is an X because he is a multiple system. He never grew out of that Tumblr phase where he's like, I'm multiple people. And he's also like not non-binary. He's a non-binary multiple system. And as he says here, hello, Twitter. Uh, it is with deepest sadness that you are ending up reading this R suicide note. So when he writes his suicide note, he says that it's an R suicide note because his system is committing suicide together. It's a suicide pact between the multiple personalities living in his head. Uh, he continues, no, that this is not because of anything anyone has done. No, it is the world that has led us to this, a world which does not care, a world which in which the rich does not care for the lives of the poor of making people flee where they are from to be who they are that forces them to be a burden on someone already shouldering an unimaginable burden. Every day we have lived in the U S has been a burden on our wife, Mao Mao, who is now on dialysis and needs a kidney transplant is still forced by society to provide for us. We cannot take this burden any longer. I don't know how much Varka gave him for, E621, but he should give him a more. It seems like he's really fucking poor. He's probably got the fibromyalgia. He can't work anymore. He's too busy hurting. Uh, he says, To our loved ones, Mao, we will always be with you. Mini slash, you didn't believe us when we said we were sexually coerced, but we were. You and your friends defending someone who abused us. You contributed to this and we hope it haunts you. <laughs> That's not petty at all. <laughs> this is not because of anyone in particular, but fuck you, mini slash, you fucking rapist enabling piece of shit. I hope you burn in hell. <laughs> we hope you burn in hell. All of us hate you, fucker. <laughs> um... To s'mores draws, we know that your life was as fucked up as ours, and we assign no blame to you, whatever, whatsoever. We wish you the best. To Fink and Jackie, wherever you are, fuck you both, fuckers. To a Yazabun, you have been so wonderful and introduced us to such wonderful things. Thank you for improving our life. To Colix, Kuprik, and Bastion the Wolf, two of, of you who have stood by us, we love deeply and are so closed to our heart. We wish you could have done more to help both of you. You are both amazing and deserve the best. And finally, Mao, Mao, you carried us these 15 years and you sacrificed some of your life and your, and one of your eyes for us. What the fuck? You sacrificed some of your life in one of your eyes for us. Why the fuck are you ripping out this dude's eyes? We cannot let you sacrifice any. How do you lose an eye in service of a furry system? That uh, you can't just throw that out there. <laughs> I need I need the information about how this happened. Uh, Rono, some will take care of you. We have made sure of it. You will get your kidney transplant. I guess he lost an eye to his kidney disease. That would make sense. Renal failure as a result of uh, kidney failure. That's a thing. A renal failure is kidney failure. I meant like the capillaries in your eye falling out. I I really don't know. It could be anything. It could be a dragon dildo related incident. Uh, our body, what if it is still viable? We leave to science. Our kidneys go either to Mao or to someone who can. You cannot take a kidney from a suicide victim. You are wasting it because you don't want to encourage people to commit suicide. No doctor in the U.S. will take a kidney from a suicide victim. 
Our kidneys go to either Malu or to someone who can cross match a donation and onto speculation and doxing and harassment. Bees, Hazel Derg, the corpse, people like that. You suck others in and break them. Lapinus malice, you made Haze worse, and you're a sick, twisted fuck who deserves what he will surely get. Our dying breath will curse your name. We are were sexual assault survivors. We have been raped. Ab How long is this? Okay, I'm almost done. Abuse nearly murdered and almost kidnapped, survived cancer, and we are spent. We have nothing left to offer this life, and we don't want to live in a wheelchair crippled by an uncaring society. If you're reading this, we've already taken a fatal overdose of Depakota. Depakote. The deed is done. To Oh, yeah, because you can't just pump a stomach or whatever the fuck. I'm sure that he, this was a lethal blow. The deed is done to our fellow members of the IWWFJU. Thanks for the solidarity against Jason Kirpan, who has been harassing us and making our lives miserable. Solidarity. Please share this wide. We hope that the hospital allows us to die a pain-free death as our liver fails. Yeah, that takes like fucking two days to, to finish. Uh, blah, blah, blah. This is the Juniper system signing off from the world. Born 1983, hopefully died 2022. Uh, whatever of us remains will be with you all forever. Furries, wobblies, queers, friends, family, we love you all. And the deed is done. All that's left is to wait to die. Anyways, he lived. Here he is. Here's an, um. Here is Juniper System from a communist furry named Mao, and uh, he ha wants to sing a song for you. I wanna be like the people are, not with scales, but with real genitalia rolling around between the what do you call them? Oh. Sheets Flipping my fins I can't get too far Cunts are required For nearly everything Selling myself on the What's that word again? Street Up where they bang Up where they bone Up where they stay up at night All alone I've never come Wish I could have a vagina <laughs> Not celibate. Wish I could have a vagina. Bravo, bravo. Encore, bravissimo, wunderbar. Oh, I'm fairly certain Disney already knows about it. I'm pretty sure <laughs> they already know about it. Anglo, I should have suspected, and he wears a cat collar. <laughs> oh, jeez. I didn't expect that to be so funny. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, jeez. Chantal. It's time, time to talk about Chantel as, as the show ebbs. Uh, Chantel has... <clears throat> oh, God, I'm losing my voice. How embarrassing. Making fun of that man singing and my voice cracks. You know, I'm almost 30. I was told that my voice would stop cracking by the time I was 15, and yet it still cracks. Chantel has been... Uh, <laughs> The wall, yeah. Empty milk carton. Eventually, when I coom, it's just going to be a little puff of, of, of dust. Uh, anyways, Chantel is in a endless cycle that will never, ever finish. She has been dating this Arab loser, cokehead, piece of shit, wife beater, alleged rapist named Nadir Ashami for, like, two years now and they break up and get back together and then she cries about it and then they get back together and then she's like oh, if i'm back together with him it's none of your business i just want to bees and i want to do what i do and blah 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 and they break up again and then she's like oh he was such a dickhead i can't believe i ever trusted him oh i'm such an idiot he never loved me and then they get back together and she's like if it's my business it's my personal stuff blah 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 they've been doing this for literally two fucking years which is why chantel has been absent from my streams for months and months and months 
except for small clips because I'm fucking sick of it. I can't stand it anymore. It's just so, so fucking obnoxious. Um, so what I bring to you in terms of Chantel updates is uh, that right now they're currently apart because I think Chantel has accused him of like rape and then someone else came up and accused him of rape. So now he's in legal shit and uh, he's very angry at her for basically ruining his life, what was left of it. And uh, he's fucking around with his side hoe, Dee Dee. If you don't know, if you don't follow the Chantalverse, for as long as she has known Nadir, he has been in a friendship with Dee Dee, who is like his actual girlfriend. And it's been a very apparent the entire time that he's been cheating on her with Dee Dee. And she was in denial. And then he was like, I want to have two girlfriends. So she came out on stream and literally announced that she was in a polyamorous relationship with her, with Dee Dee and Nadir. And then she had a mental breakdown and said, you made me eat her gray vagina. It was so fucking gross. And, uh, yeah, I get tired just thinking about it. I really am. I'm sick of it. Uh, and she really hates Dee Dee. Uh, she will see about Dee Dee. She, she doesn't see about Nadir cheating on her and being a fucking loser, but she will see about Dee Dee because she stole her man for whatever reason. Anyway, she accidentally said this, and it was very funny. She was she was a desperate... I am not getting this story wrong at all. At, at fucking all. I have gotten every detail right. She was, she was a desperate, sad old lady watching my streams just like all the other sad old ladies. There's a lot of lovely old ladies who watch me too, but these ones are sad. She accidentally just shits all over her fucking audience and calls them sad old ladies. Now, I um, I have a picture of Dee Dee. She looks like a Karen. She looks like if I say <laughs> Josh is a sad old lady. If I say Karen, the person that you have in your head is um is exactly what Dee Dee looks like. And here's this lovely picture of Dee Dee that was screen captured. She was hiding from the camera. She's been on stream with Nadia a lot recently. But she was hiding from the camera recently, and it's because, uh-oh, someone has a black eye. Someone has a black eye. Ooh, I wonder how she got that. Could it be that the abusive uh, Muslim, Arab, Egyptian meth head beat the fuck out of her like he beat the fuck out of Chantal? Probably. Good for her, I guess. At least she got the man that she was fighting for all along. And that's the Chantal update. Uh, Pete just sits in his room and seethes all the all day, every day, and uh, nothing has changed. Oh, you know what? I already talked about. No, I already talked about that. I've already talked about everything. They share custody of Nader. No, Nader owns both of them. He's just mad at Chantal right now. He's like, "Give me more money." And then I'll talk to you again, bitch. And she's like, yes, Nader, I will get you more money. <sighs> you know, Chantal should just give us money. Just give the Kiwi Farms money. I could probably get her money, but then I would have to bang her. And I don't want to do that. I think I'd rather die. Just uh, food for thought, everybody. She was told twice. Yes, yes, she was. It could be heroin. Heroin cheek. You deserve a cut of her fortune. I do deserve a cut of her fortune. It's true. I made her. When I found her, she was a nobody eating cheese. And now look at her. She's on top, raking in the super chats, putting even pay, pay, pay to shame with how much fucking money she makes off those people on YouTube. Like 20, I think she said $20,000 a month. I deserve a cut, chat. I deserve just a couple, a couple thousand of that. Just a little bit. <laughs> all right i think that's it i've managed to make this last for as long as i have um obs is broken what do i want to do about this can i move this around can i move it around literally okay here's how it works um my obs does not update when i click stuff i have to unless i move it if i click something and then move my my thing around it will update the frames but if i just um click it doesn't show up until i move my screen around it's very bizarre can I do this? Ah, that's, that's too... No, that's, like, gray. I want it to be greener. 
I just want it to be green, you know? Come on now. And now I'm afraid if I fuck around with it, it's going to break the thing. Fuck it. Oh, wait, this works. Does this work? Okay, yes, this works. Now in Super Chat mode. Um, as always, uh, you are invited to stick around for the Super Chats. I tried my best to make them not shit. And then I have a special song picked out. It's pretty good, actually. Like I said, I've been listening to um, Alternative Country, as cringe as that sounds. And it's pretty good, actually. Did I forget anything? Uh, in terms of of content, is it it, it is cringe? <laughs> You're cringe. Don't shit on my music taste. Baked Alaska's trial is next Friday. Uh, cool. What Grey's Anatomy song? I have never watched Grey's Anatomy song. Tim Pool. Oh, he got mentioned by January 6th, but it wasn't like a big thing in terms of him getting mentioned. Barbara B Barbusi, Noel Cuckney. No, I did not. That's lies and slander. And um, mm, I usually have my chat on my OBS so I can see it, but now I cannot see it because my OBS is frozen. Such is life. Where the fuck is my thing so I can see my, my messages? Aha! Okay, give me a second. I'm sorry. I'm all over the place. I'm a bit scattered brain. My vitamin D has been deficient recently. I need to go outside. I need to go touch grass so I feel better. Uh, all right. All right. You ready? Everybody strapped in. If you like dark country, check out Woven Hand. Maybe. I only listen. I, I listen. I don't know. Everyone keeps suggesting all these country uh, groups to me. And it's, it's a weird thing. I'm like this with all music where like... I will listen to one song by a band. It's very unusual that I like multiple songs from the same group. Uh, and it's very, very rare that I care enough about somebody to listen to like their whole discography. Acer Thorn. Did I not talk about Acer Thorn? Do I, I think I have a... Wait, hold up. I know I have a note for this somewhere. I thought I did talk about them. No. Who the fuck is Acer Thorn? I don't have them in my notes. I heard that name though. Okay, chat. You have my, you have my undivided attention before I start reading the super chats. Well, who the fuck is Acer Thorn? Autistic nine year olds taste in music. Thanks. Oh, the copyright guy. He sued and he lost, which is good news, I guess. But it's still it's it's so expensive to deal with lawsuits. I, and I. If America was not, like, the most free country, I would just expatriate because it's, like, the lawsuit shit in the U.S. is ridiculous. <clears throat> he, um... Yeah, I'm not... I'm not... The patches are coming through. Um, they're, they're getting... I'm getting my first patches done right now. If you invited me to your wedding, would you come? No, I would not. Sorry. Even if it's in Serbia. Okay. Okay, uh, let's get through these, shall we? Torrent for five says, Who would have thought the last week's Maddie would result in the return of Godwinson and the downfall of the casino? Kiwi Farms always wins. Um, Godwinson probably was planning on doing anything about PPP for a while. I think after... I know that his appearance against Flamenco was not well received because he was in very bad faith against Flamenco. But um, I think his experience there, if this isn't like kayfabe, I think his experience there was like so negative that he thought, fuck it. I, I really don't like this. Anonymous for one says, congratulations to the People's Republic of Luhansk for finally being free from the oppression and getting their own sovereign state. Uh, they've been de facto independent for a while, I think. Um, the, the war the, the war is like really slow to a crawl. I, and I don't hear that much about it anymore. Twinkle Tard for 100 says, why do you want everyone to send you silver for your birthday? Because I like it. Simple as. Um, I will have a forwarding address either probably in either Latvia, Denmark, or the Netherlands. And I'm just going to have people send. Uh, I'll explain it later, like exactly what I want. But I like old currency that is made of silver. And I'm hoping that uh, people will just send me like some old coins from their country that happens to have silver content. And if they do, I think my plan is I'll, um, by the way, I'm going to put all of this shit that people send me into like a fairway bag that doesn't transmit 
radio. And then when it gets to my house, I'm going to have a giant magnet and I'm going to run that thing over with a magnet. So if you send me any electronics, it will be destroyed. Just to give you a heads up before it even gets open. I will have this destroyed. So don't even fucking bother. Okay. Um, but I like, I like silver. That's my thing. Yeah, silver is holy. That's right. Dreamy Bull for five says, I'm batakumona shit. Hua, hua. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> Hopefully it didn't summon a demon by accident. Roxana Wolf for 20 says, It has been found out that the common food additive E621 causes birds to swell. Figured you'd want to know to keep your pigeon safe. To learn more, visit E621 and search avian <laughs> inflation. <laughs> <laughs> How very coincidental that we talked about E621 and then he submitted that. That's too late. I ruined I ruined your joke on accident. <laughs> uh Nicker for one says, Hey Jush, is ad nauseum.io worth using? It works with you you block and indiscriminately clicks all ads behind the scenes to fuck with ads. My instinct is that it's actually too easy to actually be effective. Wrong. Um, I use ad nauseum everywhere. It's, it is actually like hard broken in Chrome and in brave because brave forks Chrome and you have to install it as a developer extension to get it to work. Um, ad nauseum was so effective at fucking with AdSense that not only did they ban it from the Chrome store, but they had to reimburse like $2 billion worth of, uh, of, uh, ad AdSense like money to their publishers because of all the fraudulent clicking. Fun fact. Fun fact. I, I strongly encourage um, actively fucking with these systems because these companies are evil. And the more money they have to spend to have Indian programmers fix it, the, the funnier it is. Ice Mexican for 10 says, after last week, I did a deep dive into your lore. Besides being an angry team, you just seem depressed, both of which I can relate to. I hope you're fulfilled and happy now. No homo. Um, I've talked about this before, but when I was a teenager, I was very socially isolated and I was very angry. And then I got a job working at Whataburger and I made my first real friends basically ever. And I got my car and my mom moved out. So I was on my own. And I lived in a double wide trailer with a with my friend, his mom, his mom's third husband, his sister, his sister's baby, his sister's baby's daddy, and his long term girlfriend, and a feral cat. And uh, I I had fun and I changed a lot during those years. And I remember the cat would scratch the fuck out of me all the time. And then one one time it got into heat and it would sit on my so shoulder like a parrot. And it would rub its butt up against me. And I'd be like, cat, get the fuck off of me. And then if I tried to touch the cat, it would then immediately freak out and claw the shit out of me again. And then it would um, sit on my shoulder again when I got horny again. I'm just like, cat, what the fuck is wrong with you? Get off of me. And, uh, uh, now, yeah, that was fun. It was fun up until his brother had a schizophrenic episode and tried to stab me. Herbert Mongolstein Gunterberg Grunbull says... For ten o two, ish hasa den gigan Jesus. I hate oh, I hate the Antichrist. This must be what it says. What else would be a gigan Jesus? It wouldn't be like a giant Jesus. <laughs> Mongolstein. <laughs> Dantioch for two says, "Is anyone else finding it weird how Gunt has been referencing Gamergate and how was an OG for it lately?" It really comes off as desperation to cling onto any relevancy he has left now. Anyone who even says the the etag remag word is a fucking degenerate parasite on society. I refuse to acknowledge this question further. There is no God for one dollar says I met a man just like Pete's. He was an anarcho communist who hates the word foreigner because it's racist. Hates the Republican because he has T's in his family. He's not American, but loves consumer talk. Well, consumer talk distracts you from everything. It, there's no pain and suffering in Star Wars. You just cut on the Lathothor and then you kill Hitler. Hitler in a bucket helmet. Evil and bad guy. Maybe the bad guy could do that thing. CH Mod, CH Owen, Maddie, Josh. 
my hard earned cash that TGZ for seven seventy seven. Thank you. Why is Josh? Why is Maddie a member of Josh and Josh not a member of Kiwi Farms? Food for food for thought. Black Hitler. There was an Adolf Hitler who's from Namibia. Josh calling anyone else a degenerate. Fuck you, Chuck Mangione. I'm sick of seeing you in King of the Hill. You have no role there. Uh, there is no God for $1 says, so Ralph can no longer claim Southern pride due to his family being on the union side. How long until he loses his white trash pride? <laughs> Ralph will be white trash, whether he likes it or not for the rest of his life. John Redcorn for 19 says, here's an ounce of silver. Are you buying the dip? Oh, fuck yeah, I am. I'm going to buy silver real soon. I can't, I can't, I haven't bought silver in a while. I'm, I'm itching for it. I need it. Anonymous for five says, Josh, please say this quickly. Toy boat, 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 toy boat. There you go. I feel like I did that pretty well. Uh, Annan for 20 says, Ralph Mills can't stop winning. That's right. Ralph always wins. Over a long enough timeline, we all we all lose to Ralph. Uh, never forget for one says, how come people give everyone like Flamenco and Gator a pass despite everything they did or stood by with Ralph? Um, I don't give either one of them a pass. I, I like I, Gator, I think I mentioned this on stream. Um, but Gator posted something on the Fediverse where he's like, "I now apologize to Joshua Moon for calling me a, uh, calling him a pedophile." And it's like he didn't do that as soon as he broke up with Ralph, and he stood by the pedophile shit for like two years along with Ralph. And the only thing that made him like uh, apologize was the fact that Ralph started calling the author of Berserk a pedophile because he drew like horse rape lollicon shit. And and made comics explicitly defending Lollicon, and then Gator was like, "Oh my God, calling people a pedophile is actually really damaging to their uh, to their reputation. And it's not very fair to do that without reason." And then he apologized. It's like a, it's a bit late, mate. <laughs> you should have uh, you should have came to that realization a bit sooner. It's like um, it reminds me of there's this really old meme from like the early 2010s where it's like. There's a picture of Rainbow Dash photoshopped into a concentration camp with a bunch of Jews, and she has like the the like the night the you know the pajamas and the star on. And there's a comment by some fucking insane person going, "Oh my god, I didn't realize that the Holocaust was bad until I saw Rainbow Dash in a concentration camp. The juxtaposition of the pony with the real suffering makes it so much more real to me." It's like, well, okay, well, well, well hold up. Why was that the last straw? Like, why did it take that for you to realize that this is what's going on? Why is it the anime drawing guy getting caught a pedophile? That's when you're realizing that doing that is, is you know, not a, not a good thing to do without evidence. Like, why, why was that the realization? Come on, you gotta, you gotta, <laughs> people are at, looking at me like I'm retarded. I have to pull this up. Rainbow Dash Holocaust. Let's see what we get. Yeah, perfect. Exactly what Google just knows what I want. Here we go. <laughs> I'm sorry, I fucked it up. Here we go. Okay, look. Here's a picture of Rainbow Dash, and they're rounding up all the Jews, right? And then the guy says, this is an amazing work. As a student of history, so as a student of history, I can say that I've seen hundreds of pictures like this, and I've shown little to no emotion. The pictures were just windows to a past I've never lived in. People who I will never know or would never ever know. But this picture made me stop and evaluate. Putting Rainbow Dash, mean, and it made me actually look at what is really happening. Putting something that everyone is familiar with in a situation that no one knows, and to make people feel those emotions well, that takes talent. Thank you. So, Gator wrote that post. If you didn't... <laughs> In case you're wondering what I'm getting at, Gator was the author of that post. Uh, believe it or not, this is deep lore that, that you may not have heard until now. Uh, anyways, you got way more than $1 worth for that super chat, my my friend. Uh, Mech Warrior 10 have some money. You thought about growing your own herbs. Well, I could grow Renara weed if I wanted to, but that's a lot of money. I don't feel like practicing my farming. Uh, though as a serious answer, I can't, not for a while. I might, uh, like I, I grew dill and stuff. I still have a mint plant because I, I put mint and lemonade and stuff to improve it. But, um, you know, 
I don't. I'm I'm uh, I'm in I'm moving soon, so I can't really dedicate to farming. That's why that's why my pigeons haven't come back this year. There's no pot for them to sit in and make more eggs. Uh, Anonymous for five says I'm sad that I can't watch you live today. My internet is stuttering more than Andy Worski reading s -s 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 super chats. I apologize. Hopefully Elon Musk will fix his Starlink and you can watch my streams. Five Star Days with Ethan Gunt for five says millions of grown men spend their life on Discord. There is nothing tangible in their life. No friends, no hobbies. All they have is a fucked up self-image through the lens of online drama. That's true. A lot of people are like that. Um, a lot. Of, I think like that's why people get so angry at like politics and shit. You were, I, I would suggest to everybody before they get angry, like when you get angry, you should be angry at something you can change. If it's something you can't change, there's no reason to get upset about it. Like if it's out of your control and there's nothing you can do about it, like don't don't even fucking invest the energy into being upset about it. Anonymous for 20 says, did you ever see DSP turn down Keemstar's $50,000 sign on bonus offer to do a podcast with Boogie and Wings of Redemption? I heard about that and I heard people joking that $50,000 wasn't enough to do to get DSP to do anything, but it's like, I don't know. I, I can, I can understand his logic though. Like if you have dig, if you have like self-esteem, if you have any dignity, you're not going to like sign up to be like on a retard podcast. Like here's all the laughing stocks. You want to be the third laughing stock on this laughing stock podcast? Like, no, <laughs> I really don't. I don't want to debase myself. Go fuck yourself. King star. It's a pretty chat answer. Actually. Anime for five says, my name is Josh and I hate Japan because I am a communist party shill literally bought and paid for by glorious leader Xi Jinping and our benevolent communist state. True facts. <laughs> Nothing to add. Taiwan is an integral part of China as is Hong Kong, but that goes without saying. Goy boy for five. The way Ralph talks about his ex lets you know he's a huge fucking beta bitch. Also LOL saying him saying his dick was too big. Dude is five inches at most tiny dick bitch. Yeah, I mean, like I said, if you like shit talk your ex, all that shows is that you have shit taste, at, at best. At worst, it just shows that you're not over them, and you still cry and fuck yourself with Nora's dildo. Sneedum Feedum for 10 says, it's incredible how Ralph is more vitriolic than your standard BPDX. I guess all that estrogen from his gunt. Also, if you want to talk about scummy games, look at Destiny deleting paid content. Um, I've not heard about that at all. Why would Destiny delete paid content? Oh, oh, the video game. Yeah, well, Activision Microsoft Blizzard is like pure fucking evil. I don't know why anyone would ever give them money at this point. You've got to be fucking crazy to give them money. Uh, Saul T. Dog for 20 says, we all know only men. We all know the only men Coach Red Pill Bottoms for are hard as fuck Chechens. That's a hard sentence to say. We all know the only men Coach Red Pill bottoms for are hard as fuck Chechens. Um. Well, he's in he's in Ukrainian custody still. I think. I don't think they ever took that uh, Kharkiv, did they? He, he he doesn't. And what I'm saying is that Coach Red Pill wishes he could get bottomed by Chechens, but right now he's only getting bottomed by the uh, the Ukrainians. <laughs> Bill for big <laughs> BCC. <laughs> Striga for five says, Josh, visit Poland someday. We have pierogi. I would love to visit Krakow, um, but I've never had an excuse to visit Krakow. I actually applied for a job. This is true. I applied for a job with GOG, um, which is owned by the company that made Witcher. And I got to like the second or third stage of interview with them, and they didn't hire me, unfortunately. But I did put in for a job with them just because I wanted no money. No money for them programs. And if I did get hired by them, I would have ended up in, I think, Krakow. I think Krakow is where their office is. CD Projekt Red, that's it. GOG got compromised by pink hairs. Well, they must be in Warsaw then. If you ever want to see gay in the, the Eastern Eastern Europe, go to Warsaw. The gayest city in fucking... Uh, west of west of Germany, or east of Germany. Trune out and I'll hire you. <laughs> Anonymous for 10 says, Hey Josh, I told someone that bothered me to kill myself or to kill himself, but he said no. 
So now I can't escalate or de-escalate or double down, and it's very awkward. What do I do? Big ups, cool show. I mean, you should just ignore him. If he bothers you, why would you interact with him? Just ignore him. And if he talks to you, just say, fuck off. Why do you have to escalate it or de-escalate it? Like, just, just ignore him. The awkwardness is good. You should just not let it get to you and let him be awkward. Hacks, Leet for two, says, Imagine my shock when I let that sink in. <laughs> Absolutely not. True, truly the Warvis boomerism. I, I always get that picture stuck in my head every time I see it, too. The sink at the door. He's cold. He's outside. He needs to be let in. Seek a loather for 10 says, Godwinson and Gahul, I believe, I think, believe donation alerts is a Russian scam. Any comment? Also, Margaret McLennan was chased off the internet by Milo. Yes. Does this ex exonerate my friend Kenny Jones? Uh, I don't know what happened with Mogwit. Um, Kenny Jones is not exonerated by any chance, by any any stretch of the imagination, though. He's very weird. Um, Godwinson is going to hate anything that's like people making money. Donation alerts is Russian. I would encourage people not to use PayPal and to use um, privacy, but I advise that with everything. Like, why would you give people your information if you don't have to? Uh, anonymous for, tw but and by the way, there was people who brought up that sister projects related to donation alerts is like uh, sketchy because all the English reviews for them are poor, but it's like people go to those sites to complain about shit. They never, like you never go to trust pilot to say like, I had a great experience with this company. You only go there to be like, this company's absolute shit and fuck them. But none of the complaints had anything like they were just saying, like, I use donation alerts and I didn't get money out of them. And if that happens, that's my problem because they're not paying me. But I didn't see anything alleging that they mishandled user information, which is what I can, am more concerned about. If I lose a couple hundred dollars, that's my that's my shit to eat. But if they dox, like, if, like, Nick Fuentes doxed a bunch of people that donated to me, that would be, like, that, that's unacceptable. Uh, Anonymous for 20 says, I don't understand why Ralph tempts fate when talking about Nora. She's the ex-wife. I'm sure she could claim harassment and get what Adrian Blair got. She could also get his address via legal means. Uh, Ralph needs like feuds and his audience hates women. And it's like if a woman was after him again, he could just be like, he's not afraid of women. And he likes being angry at women because men scare him. Men can fly to Portugal and kick his ass and stick their thumb in his mouth. And there's nothing he can do about it. Women don't tend to do that. IP man for $2.22 says your gay streams are the highlight of my week. Thank you. Pizza day is the highlight of my week. Uh, Toilet Duck for five says, thanks for pointing out of pathetic and insane all this Zoomer social media trash is. Uh, I went to a thread on 4chan called on WorkSafe GIF, and it's called like, you laugh, you lose, right? Which is a very common thing. You know, it's like you watch, you laugh, you lose, and it's... Um, and it's like every every website, every community has one of these threads. And I'll, I'll just play one of these videos because it's it's the, the most nightmarish thing I've ever fucking seen in my entire life. And I wanna I wanna share this with you. <laughs> it goes on for like 15 seconds, and there's like four minute montages of these. And the, there 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 are hundreds of posts on this thread. It's it's reached the bump limit, and people post this like every day this kind of shit i'm just like is this like a joke that i'm not in on is this like deliberately irritating what the fuck is this why are people replying to this what the f i don't get it but i think like the the alpha generation humor is just like depression and nonsense and noise and like meta humor and it's just I really don't understand it. And I feel like Gen Alpha and the Zoomers are going to be insane, violent psychopaths who will attack and kill people. It's bots. It's not funny, but I understand the reference. I don't get it. LOL. Bro, I lost it. 
<laughs> Zumara, I am suicidal, lol. Yeah, every time. That's it. It's, the joke is that I want to kill myself. I I have nothing to live for. Lamal. <laughs> and then they, and then they <laughs> add like a fart sound effect and the, the dumb thing from from black people videos and they think it's they just laugh hysterically at it and there's like no joke <laughs> it's like, okay i guess we're all mentally ill now <laughs> this is the end of society uh xyz dude zero for five says raiden i'm playing genshin impact but i've run out of credit card debt to purchase ganyu well, that sucks maybe you could offer sexual favors to businessmen in japan that's how you get more genshin impact ganyu Polyfrog for 10 says, okay, I don't like dis dislike PPP, but I think it might be time to sacrifice PPP to the gods so the tomatoes <laughs> will be a bountiful harvest this year. Uh, I don't know. I don't think PPP is going to get sacrificed. It, I think him and Andy are, like, too comfortable in their support base is, like, too extant and genuine. And I think that if things get too bad, you know, that PPP is not going to burn out like Ralph did. I think PPP has the capacity to get, like, a job again. Ching Chong Nip Nong for one dollar says, Josh, did you hear that insulting people on the internet is now illegal in Japan? As far as I'm aware, not even phrasing that in f bad faith, it's literally the letter of the law. I've heard that um, Japanese culture is weird, but all that's going to happen is like pornography is banned in Japan. They're just going to off source their, their cyberbullying to other websites. Uh, Anonymous for one says, Have you seen Cecil McFly's boobs? Does she have any? I don't, I don't know what 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 color pill you gotta take for that. Let me sit on your face, Josh. For five says, "Cozy Rosie is a karma baby for all the shit talking he says about women, and that's why he abandoned her." Also, you can tell he wants to talk to Nora so bad and beg her to come back. Uh, yeah, I think that he's gonna look for a third woman because he wants a son. And that's why he's fighting for Xander. He really doesn't. He, it's like that copy pasta. Is there anything more cucked than having a daughter? Uh, that's his mentality. It's like, I don't want to raise a daughter just so she can f get fucked by that big black bull. I need me a son to raise me some heirs. Um, and yeah, he wants, he, he knows he'll never, he'll never get a woman better than Nora. Dantioch for two says, on his question, how the fuck has Jonathan Yanov not killed over yet? Didn't their penis rot off their stink ditch? I can't imagine someone with a walking open gangrene sore between his legs live for that long. Well, with modern me medical magic, uh, even people with rotten crotches can uh, get around. He is in a wheelchair. He's not walking. Uh, and what you're thinking of is that his clitoris made from the head of his penis rotted off and a dog ate it. <laughs> <laughs> God keeps him alive because he's in pain. Uh, concerned weatherman for one says, A while ago you played a clip of Nick Fuentes from America First talking about how we should burn women at the stake and now that chips come back to haunt him with people using that to go after him. Well, I'm sure it's like a really horrific thing to say. It makes you look like a uh, demented retard. Like even if you agree like in a like that men and women have different roles in society, you don't say stupid shit like that because how unattractive can you possibly make yourself unless you're just trying to get like mentally ill rape victims on discord to like you which is the only only the only women who would like nick fuentes are women who are attracted to like serial killers like jeffrey dahmer uh, no normal person is ever going to find him like a suitable uh sire for their family Medicare Fimbot for $100 says, Keffel is a pedo. That is all. Well, the shoe fits. Uh, I am glad that I, there are so many people shitting on Keffels now that it's it's pretty funny. It's like I did my little stream on them, and now uh, I think the Kiwi Farms is the unmoved mover. Nobody wants to admit they read it, but they all do. Spag Spagandi says, for five, the final twist is that Stardust is secretly Nora and only Ralph knows. Stardust. The the oh the oh the Pakistani woman arguing with Keffel. Yeah, could be, could be. Nora's back with a vengeance. Uh, Dantioch for five says, "I swear to God, the rise of the Trun movement in the past couple years feels like some form of population control or eugenics, or besides the obvious, being an immense scam that Big Pharma is all in on." 
there is an article that I wrote. If you go to Google and you type in Mad at the Internet and then Brave New World is the name of the article, you'll get an article um, from 2020, and that sums up my thoughts on the Troon movement pretty well. I would encourage you to read it. That's what, something you're interested in. Anonymous for five says Keffel's going instant misogynist is the funniest thing and his rage makes me happy. Thanks for improving my morning, Josh. Yeah, all trannies instantly flip to misogyny because, like I said, it's a 24-7 fetish for being degraded. They hate women. There's nothing more degrading than being a woman and they want to be degraded. So that's why they become women. It has nothing to do with, like, being jealous of women or wanting to honor women. It's usually gay men who want straight men to like them who also want to be degraded. An offer you can't refuse for $5.01 says, How much money would you need in order to get, do a Let's Play a Bully Scholarship Edition? You're a cyber bully after all, so it'd be great fun. P.S. This is a serious question offer. Um, I don't know. I don't like making offers like that because like, someone offered me like $1,000 to play Sek Sekura. I don't remember the fucking name of it now. It's the, the, the Souls-like samurai game. And I played like a couple hours of it and I got nowhere near the end and he still paid me for it. Sek Sekiro, Sekiro, that's right. So um, I, I don't like taking money for video games. So I don't want to have to commit to finishing them. <laughs> and if I start taking money for that, people are going to offer me money to watch anime. And I definitely don't want to do that. Uh, Carrie for 25 says nothing. Thank you, Carrie. Colia Dante for 15 says Josh magnetizes his mail. Note to self to put pipe bomb on magnetic <laughs> trigger. Well, it gets remailed. It's going to go through several international borders. You're not going to make it through that. Anonymous for one says lock picking lawyer had people track down his P.O. box by sending GPS trackers. Luckily, he discovered it before he brought it to his house. Yes, I know that. That's why I'm so cautious. Uh, Neck Warrior for two says, "What is your favorite Pokemon?" It's a tough one. You can't say Pikachu. I'm also fond of Mew. I liked Mew as a kid. Um, I like Mew too, too. <laughs> but you can't you can't say a legendary Pokemon as like your favorite. Uh, oh, okay. This isn't Gen One, even though I'm a fan of Gen One overall. I like um. I like, I think it's, I think it's been so long. I think Pupitar. No, Pupitar is the second form. What's the name of the, the, the first one of the Tyranitar um, that Pupitar comes from? Larvitar. Is that it? Larvitar? Larvitar. That sounds like a stupid name. Larvitar. He is a cool looking Pokemon though. I would say Larvitar. Um. Okay. N-word for five says, Ralph might have AIDS. Don't remember if you mentioned that. Uh, it sounds kind of fakey fake to me. It would be very funny if he... Because it's like he, he would only have AIDS if he got... If he mouth-raped Alice and got AIDS from her. That's it. Gaia Mirgate says, for 10,000-year-old vampire cunning. Very gross. Uh, that's the plot of a movie in, with um, Brad Pitt in it, though. Fligu for one says, Josh, the joke with the nightmare webm is Fligu posting. There's a genre of unfunny TikTok that's just shit up every you laugh, you lose with these very unfunny posts. It's been going on for like a year. Yeah, I don't know. That's too meta for me. Okay. Oh, someone else posted the exact same thing. Uh, Hacks Elite for two says, the Fligu Gigu shit has been spammed on GIF and WorkSafe GIF for over two years in every single you laugh, you lose thread. It's 100% posted by bots for some experiment there and are no real people reacting to that. Okay, there you go. I don't know where it gets fliggy giggoo from, though. All I know is that a black man is very convinced that the Impossible Whopper has more of a seared bite than the Burger King Whopper. And then he goes in for another bite, and he's like, yeah, I'm getting more of that seared bite from the Impossible Whopper than the regular Whopper. And he's just amazed by this. And um, Review Bra would disagree. He seems to hate all the vegan shit. <laughs> all right. Imagine my shot. Yeah, he eats the bugs. <laughs> Seared bite? <laughs> uh. 
<laughs> See, it's in fact, I've gotten the brain roots from it because now I'm laughing and I don't even know why. And some black guy said, seared bite? Like in a very inquisitive way. Oh, God. All right. Listen, chat. I got to go. It's been too long. Um... Did I miss anything? Did I fail to mention anything? I don't wonder. Bye, Josh. All right. All right. I'll see you guys next week. Uh, take it easy. And this song is called Give and Take by Poor Man's Poison, which is a group that has several good songs, actually. Uh, take it easy. Bye-bye. Coming for us now. Coming for us now. Somehow they found us out. They found no sudden us moves out. don't make a sound. They're out for blood this time around. We gotta burn it all down. Today's the day, revolution's on its way. Our time is now. Hold the line. This is how we'll be defined. Just stand your ground. Give and take only works when both sides really give and take. No revolution's on its way. Look around. What do you know? This whole damn place is about to blow. Look around. What do you see? I see the wolves at bay coming after me. Oh